Okay, guys, we have got here a Dynamo. I believe this is a seven-foot pool table. Gosh, I suppose I should confirm that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's seven foot. I'm not an expert, but that looks like the standard bar size. I don't have any... This is a building I bought recently that is full of really great games, which will all be coming to Arcadia Auctions in the months and years to come. Um, but I haven't turned the power on in here just because I don't really need it, so I'm using my flashlight here. Um, but anyway, this pool table was part of the deal. And you can see it's in outstanding condition. It's a little dirty on top. I, uh, it, I mean, this building had kind of sat for a while. The roof hasn't leaked or anything, so there hasn't gotten any water on anything in here. But the um, paint has chipped off of the ceiling a little bit. It's got one of these old tin ceilings. So it was covered with paint chips, but I vacuumed them off. It'll clean up just fine. It, the felt doesn't look perfect. It looks like there might be some flaws here, like here's a tear in it. So it'll probably need, yeah, it'll need new felt. Um, if you're really into pool. I mean, I'd play it with the tears personally, but I'm, I'm not a professional. It's got the rack thingamajiggy here. And um, it's coin-op. It's a bar table, so it's got the coin-operated. Let's see, it looks like it's set for 75 cents, although that can be changed anywhere from a quarter to a dollar. The balls are behind here. I'm sure I've got the key. I got all the keys to these games, but I haven't found, well, I left the keys in my other building, so I, I haven't even tried the lock on this, but we'll just drop 75 cents in it right now and see if it works. Honestly, this is the first time I will have tried it, but I assume it's working. Let's hope I've got three quarters. I do. All right, one, two, Come on, John. Three. All right, let's see if this releases the balls. Hey. You gotta love that sound. It's got the little hooks down here to hook for putting the bridge on, and it comes with a bridge, and I can include a couple cue sticks. So here you go, your balls came out. Um, I don't think the cue ball, I don't think the cue ball's here. But I mean, gosh, just buy a set of new balls for the thing, for heaven's sake. They're probably 10 bucks on eBay. Oh, no, there is a cue ball, all right. So there you have it. It's a pretty decent table. Oh, and I'll include this pool light with it. I sure don't need it. Looks like the standard made in China pool light. Plastic, so at least you don't have to worry about the shades breaking. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh yeah, by the way, this is in Iowa. So you're gonna have to pick this thing up in Iowa. It's um, kind of southeastern Iowa. So you can contact me and I'll tell you where it is and I'll just have to meet you over here and we'll, I've got a pool table cart and um, I got a friend who, Jeff, you guys know Jeff, he knows how to take apart a pool table. All you do is you tip it up and you have to take these legs off. You tip it onto a pool table cart and then unbolt these legs and then it just rolls onto a trailer or, Lord forbid, into the back of a pickup truck. Um, I'm sure we can do it. It's just, oh yeah, and I do have a ramp too. We'll find a way to load it. But these are pretty heavy. I think these bar tables have one piece slates too. So this isn't like a three piece slate. But uh, let me know if you have any questions. And I guess that's it.